In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you how you can get the best OBS settings to record smoothly and without any lag. So on that note, let's get right into it. Alright everybody, so first things first, go ahead and go to settings. Once you're in settings, you'll see many options. Go ahead and go to video. And once you're in video, you'll see you have your base canvas resolution. I keep mine in 2K for the reason that it's just simpler and helps my recording not get laggy when I'm recording heavy gameplay and heavy games. Then obviously your common FPS, please leave it at 60. If you don't, I'm just gonna come and find you and I'm gonna remove it from YouTube. Then go ahead and go to output. Once you're in output, make sure your output mode is from obviously if it's in simple right now, go ahead and change it to advanced. Then this is your streaming section. We're not gonna touch streaming today, we're gonna go ahead and go to recording. So go to recording. Now once you're in recording, go to type and keep it in standard. Now, your recording path, make sure you decide where you want to keep all your videos. Mine is on my D drive and I call and I made a file called vids. That's where I keep all my videos. Now your recording format, make sure you, uh, there's many options. I like to keep it in MP4 because it works with every other editing software out there. So, and it doesn't cause me any issues. So MP4 it is. Now your video encoder is extremely important. I have an uh, RTX, RTX 3070 Ti, so I would obviously be using the NVIDIA Invec H.264, it's the best for your recording. If you have an AMD GPU, it will be different for you. Then for your audio encoder, make sure you just leave it at what it is automatically. Now audio tracks, I have two audio tracks, so then make sure to also have two if you want to have two audio tracks while you're editing. Rescale output, leave it as it is. Then your encoder settings. Rate control, leave it at CBR. That would be the best option out there. Now your bitrate, I like to keep it at around 60,000. Now it will make you have much bigger files. That's quite big. Impressive. But your recording will be much cleaner, in my opinion. You can also put it at around 30 to 60,000, that's fine. Keyframe, leave it at zero. Preset. I usually suggest to just put it in better quality because best is just, you won't see any difference and it just takes up more of uh, your computer. Then leave it at high quality right there, you don't want to mess with that. And then here you can just leave uh, the default and both for the profile leave it at default. Now audio, don't need to touch that as well, it, leave it at default, it works perfectly fine just as it is. Then go to audio and your sample rate, please make sure it's at 48 uh, kilohertz and channels obviously ste uh, stereo and then desktop audio uh, if you have two like we decided before like I had and I showed you then use it as two then go ahead and click apply okay and that's it that's how you get the best OBS settings this was a simple and clean tutorial